this is going up that incline like a champ again. Four Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tino's Lego Robotics. And I know you're going to say, hey, Miss Tino, didn't you already do a video about the Spike Prime cable car? And the answer is yes. But I thought to myself, you know, most cable cars do not just go straight across. Most of them angle up because they're going up a mountainside or they're trying to just go from one place to another. But the topography or the terrain is not perfectly flat. Most of these will end up angling up. And I thought to myself, how do I get this to do that? Because the one that I had done before, because it was um, having to be on this gear, they're very plasticky and very slippy. So I thought to myself, how do I get this to climb? So today's video, I'm gonna show you what I did, how I modified the previous cable car to make this thing be able to climb. And today we're going to figure out how many degrees of an incline can this really climb. No, Lego Robotics. Okay, so if you want the building instructions to this cable car, I will leave a link to that building video at the end of this video. But stay with me because what I want to do is just show you the quick little modification that I made using a part from the Spike Prime kit that's able to have this cable car climb an incline. And today, you're going to be with me to figure out how many degrees can this incline be. So right now, let me go ahead and show you just a little modification that I made. Okay, so if you're following along with the instructions that I had made, the modification is super simple. And here's the modification. This is the only thing that I did. So I kept this six axle. Let me put that back in here. And the only thing I did was this is the piece right here and it has this rubber tire on this and this is what allows it to grip the dowel really well as opposed to this gear here, which um, I was initially thinking about gearing this down, giving it more torque. But then I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. It's still going to be very plasticky. It's still going to not grab the dowel very well to climb. And so I thought, well, let's use this piece again, that rubber tire from the Spike Prime kit. And what's going to happen now is it should allow this thing to climb uh, because it's going to grab the wood and be able to hopefully go up an incline like the regular cable cars do. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to use the same program. Now you'll notice if you have watched my previous video, I ditched the sensors because I didn't want to just mess with the sensors. I wanted this just to climb and see what the angle is. So today that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to let me get this set up to um, figure out the incline because on my phone, I have an app that tells me what the degrees is of the angle. And then we're going to see what is the maximum degrees this cable car can climb. Okay, let me go ahead and open up my level app. It's called Spirit Level. And I'm going to just see if my table is exactly zero degrees flat. Looks like we're a little bit off. Let me go ahead and um, slide my phone along the table until I can get this to be zero. And yeah, that looks about right. Okay. I want zero degrees, so that way when I measure the cable car, then we're going to get a good reading. Okay, so this is going to be my setup where I have two chairs, and I have the dowel going across both chairs, and I just want to make sure that we're going to start off at zero degrees being level. So now that it's level, let me go ahead and send the cable car across, and then we'll slowly get this thing more elevated. Okay, so I have my EV3 kit underneath this chair, and I'm now going to measure and see what degrees uh, the dowel is going to be at now. So if we're reading this right, it looks like uh, seven degrees. So we've added seven degrees of slope uh, with this EV3 kit. So let's now go ahead and get the cable car 
and see if uh, the cable car can go up this slope. Yeah, look at that. It is handling this slope like a champ. Look, so again, this is seven degrees of slope. Easily. Okay, let's make this thing higher. Okay, I have ditched the EV3 kits. I have just raised my phone holder as high as I could. Let's go ahead now and measure what the degrees of this slope is. Okay, let's go ahead and put my phone here on the dowel. And let's go ahead and measure this angle in degrees. Uh, let's zoom in on the horizontal uh, level. And looks like we got 14 degrees, so we doubled it. Let's go ahead now and put the cable car here on the dowel. All right, everybody, 14 degrees. This thing doesn't look like it's even struggling. Look at that. It might be going slower than it did at seven degrees, but it's still, it's still rolling. All right, we're making it up here to the top. This is going up that incline like a champ again. Four oh my God. Okay guys, because of some accidents and some very steep slopes, I decided to go down on the floor and be a little safer so that way I wouldn't damage any of the equipment. And so I'm gonna try to increase the uh, slope, but a little bit safer here on the floor. So we went from seven, to 14. Now we're going to try 21. I guess I'm a football fan and I'm going by touchdowns. Okay, so I have two of the kits, EV3 and Spike Prime, dowel here on the floor. And let's put my phone right here. And yep. Wow. I did go up to 21 degrees. Okay. So if it's 21 degrees, 21, 22, let's go ahead and put the cable car on here and let's see how it does. Okay, by coming here on the floor, I did limit how far the cable car would go, but let's go ahead and start this thing and let's just see if it can make it up this incline. And yeah, looks like 21 degrees is doable. I'm pulling it down a little bit. Yeah, it definitely made 21 degrees. Let's go higher. Okay, so I have the EV3 kit, the Spike Prime, and the Magnetiles box. Let's see what the degrees is for this slope. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see what this, this slope is. And 30 degrees. Wow, so I went more than 7 more than the last time. Okay, so we're gonna try 30 degrees. And if it can't make it up this, we'll just lower it. And so we'll know it's between 30 and 21, but let's try 30. Okay, 30 degrees, here we come. No way, I did not think it would do 30 degrees. I thought that would just be too steep, but look at it. That's it, 30 degrees. Consider that done. Wow, okay, we're going for more. Okay, so we have an EV3 kit, Spike Prime, Magnetiles, Nancy Drew book series, Let's now go ahead and check out what the slope is of this. Okay, here we go. I don't even know. Okay, so we went from 30 to 34. Okay, we're gonna try 34 degrees here. 34, 35, no. Okay, 34, you know why? Because again, this dowel bends and that's why you might see a fluctuation of the numbers. Let's go with 34. Let's try that. 
Okay, so like a good scientist, we're narrowing this down. So we know it can do 30, and if this is 34 and it cannot do it, then we know the sweet spot is somewhere between 30 and 34 degrees. So let's check this out. Okay, got to get this thing off the ground. There we go. Okay, it's going slow. But it's making it. That dowel is bending, if you can see it. Let me back up the shot here. 34 degrees. Having it, it's definitely going slower. Look at that dowel, it's like totally shaking, but it made it. It's making it to the top. The only thing stopping it is right there. Okay, so everybody, 34 degrees, uh, considered a success. Okay, so now we have an EV3 kit, spike prime kit, magnetiles, Nancy Drew, and my wife's, uh, I guess, whatever you call that. Anyway, we're going to see what this slope is, and we're going to give this a shot. Okay, so just to recap, we have done 7, 14, 21, 30, 34. Let's see what we have here on this slope right there. Okay, we got 38 degrees. Okay, so 38 degrees, let's give that a shot. Okay, I am doubtful, but I have been proven wrong. So here we go, 38 degrees. I'll get this dowel set up. Okay, we're gonna lift this off the ground so we can get this. I'm just gonna hold it. I'm not helping it in any way. Uh-oh, guys, we might. it might have met its match. 38 degrees. Just trying to get off the ground here. And it might have met its match. 38 might be too tough. You know, you you can always be shocked. Look at it. It definitely has gotten off the ground a lot higher. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick with this and see if it actually can make it up. Because yesterday what happened is I turned to do something for like 20 seconds, I came back and it did actually move farther up the dowel. So I'm going to give this a little bit of time. What I think is happening is it goes up and then it slides down. But it looks like it has gotten off the ground. I'm going to hang. I'm going to hang with this a little longer. No, you see it slipping. So what I think we'll do is we'll we'll go further down and see if what the sweet spot is. But it looks like it's just continuing to slip. It goes up a little bit and slip. Let's go down a little bit so that this can actually make it up. Okay, let me go ahead and get this started. And just helping it to get up on the track. There we go. Okay, so let me just show you that it's up on here and it's climbing. Just don't want this to fall. But it's climbing. Look at that. Look how far off the ground it has already gotten. Uh oh, we're slipping again. And again, it's shaking. But hey, I think we figured out 36 degrees, it's making it. And I'm just gonna watch right there when those blue connectors, if they can hit the box. And I told you before, I think, that because this bows, this dowel bows right here, it gets steeper at the top. 
So it's it's struggling, but so what might happen is because it bows, it might be a, a more uh, steeper angle here at the top. So this could actually be 38 degrees as it gets to the top where it might have been 36 right here. So I'm going to consider this a success of 36 degrees just for the mere fact that it gets bowed and it, and it gets steeper as it gets to the top. So guys, I'm going to say 36 degrees was our top amount of degrees that this cable car can go up. Okay guys, so I had a lot of fun experimenting with this cable car, the upgraded cable car. So if you check again the description or at the end of this video, I'll leave a link to the building instructions. And then on this video, you guys saw the modification that helped this go up the dowel. So 36 degrees, really good. I did some research and the Palm Springs tram in California has a maximum slope of 42 degrees. So this guy didn't do too bad, okay? So hopefully you had a lot of fun with me experimenting with this uh, cable car to see the maximum amount of slope. Definitely check it out for yourselves if you can make it and you can get a dowel and you know do your own experiment. But this was lots of fun. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in my next video. I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.